So excuse me, I just need to send this tweet. There we go. Now, for journalists like me, social media is indispensable. It's a huge resource for stories and contacts. But for other professions, social media could be seen as a distraction. In Tanzania, government workers in the Transport and Communication Ministry have been banned from accessing social media at work. And your thoughts have been pouring in about this subject. Here's some of them. Adam Abram Shoki in Somalia writes on Facebook, I'm at work now and I use social media apps every day, but it doesn't impact on my work as my work always comes first. But Wambale Marison in Uganda believes this is the right move because social media really does disrupt work. And Jingle Wilson in Uganda tweets, social media can help the government workers to network with people from all over the world. Well, with me is Sami Awami, our Tanzania correspondent. First of all, Sami, how yes. big is social media in Tanzania? Because, to be honest, I don't really get many tweets from there. Mm -hmm. It's actually very big. Uh, and it, it's amazing how this number is rising higher and higher. The official, for instance, official figures of the government says the Internet uses uh, about 10 million. Mm. And now social media is even like you can see this even more with social media. And I would argue Facebook and WhatsApp are the most popular uh, social media that people use in Tanzania. And, and so how has this directive been received in, in Tanzania generally? Mm. It's very interesting because as you can see like from, from, the, 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 for, from the viewers' comments, like, Social media is it's different from the past years. Now with social media, a lot of people are using this even for work. And it's not always that when people are, are on social media uh, are maybe just killing time. Uh, for instance, uh, I get a lot of news through WhatsApp. I get a lot of uh, news tips through WhatsApp, mm -hmm. uh, through Facebook. I get all of this. But sometimes, uh, like a few days ago, I saw a clip, uh, a one-minute clip of President Magufuli, uh, you know, talking about the change of chief secretary in the mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. It was just one minute clip, and it was sent through. I received it through WhatsApp. And so I even that President Magufuli uses Facebook. It's quite ironic, isn't it? It is. But, you know, I mean, both of us know essentially that as journalists, mm -hmm. we need to be on social yes. media. But really, when you're at work, if you're a government worker, you know, mm -hmm. do you really need to go online to check for, for stuff? Well, it also depends on, on what you go online to check on stuff for. For instance, uh, and it's difficult to prove that people are using this social media to, to, to kill them. But with WhatsApp, I can understand where this minister is coming from. For instance, one can be in five different groups of WhatsApp. I myself am about six groups. So one for family, one for work, one for former classmates. Mm. And we use this to keep up with a lot of things. Now, I may not be active like all day using these groups, but you can understand when a work, a public work is using this group too spend most of their time chatting and, you know, True. killing time. So you can understand where this okay. minister is coming Samia from. Samia thank you yes. very much. I know thank you me. and I will never leave uh, social <laughs> media. That's true.